welcome to another video from Sandwich and Ashford Model Railway. I'd like to say a huge thanks to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel and a huge thanks for all your comments and likes on the previous videos including my clips from the Wally 2013. So this video will be all about how I connect up the Traintronic signals to the DCC. Uh, this is something that I mentioned back in the uh, November update and I said I'd do a separate video on how they work. Okay, so this is the diagram that I've drawn up. Uh, hopefully to illustrate things better rather than showing you a spaghetti of wires underneath my board because it's not very tidy. Uh, so this shows how to connect up the Traintronic signal to the four-point accessory decoder. Uh, the one that I use are the Backman ones. Uh, these are because these are quite reasonably priced on eHattons and you can connect up four Traintronic signals to one of these. Uh, the Traintronic signals, they cost around about £12.50 each from the Traintronic site for a two aspect. Obviously they get more pricey as you get more aspects on the signal. But for my layout with the short spaces between uh, sort of sections, I don't need three aspect or more so I've gone for two aspect signals which has also helped when in terms of connecting it up to the e-link because the e-link only allows you to choose between red and green so first of all the signal is connected up to the signal CDU which you are given in the uh, Traintronic signal pack uh, this gives a blue a red and a green sometimes you can also get a white which I've got on some of the signals because that's how to get a feather so there is an extra one for a white cable as well. Uh, then coming out of it, I have drawn this as black which shows negative and red for positive. So you've got a black cable which comes out of that Traintronic CDU hole there, runs up and joins up with the power supply. So this is an extra 16 volt power supply that I run the lights off, I run the point decoders off and you have to connect up the CDU there with a black wire which runs to the negative. A red wire then comes from the red signal which goes out to this relay. Okay so that is what is the part there that I use and that is £4.39 from Maplin and so buying the four point decoder from Hattons at the moment they're selling them for £22 so obviously you get four signals for that so divide that 22 by 4 is £5.50 uh, for each accessory decoder. So £5.50 plus £4.39, that equals £9.89, if my maths is correct. And so for £9.89, you're able to DCC one signal. Uh, this compares to Traintronic selling their own DCC module for £12.50 so for every signal you save about £3 so I'll, I'll explain what happens here I've talked about the red cable coming out of the Traintronic CDU and that is for the red signal then you've got the green one which comes out of the green signal up to the relay then from the relay you then have another red one which is on the middle pin on one the one side this goes up to the positive supply of power. You then have at the very bottom where the two pins are very close together you have two yellow cables. These are separate cables. These run off to the point decoder and these act as the either side of the common positive I believe. So the common positive then needs to run the other side which is the grey as I've labelled up here and they need to connect up both of the pins at the very bottom of the other side so there is nothing on the other side up there okay and then finally obviously you have to connect up the four point decoder from Backman there to your power and also your track supply so I've actually drawn that wrong two of them go off to your track supply and then the other two go off to join up with these two from your signal CDU and the relay so this shows the relay pins here and shows where the colours are from over there which relate to where they go from if you turn that upside down. So I'm now going to show you very quickly the 
connections which are underneath my board which is very messy and then I'll show you some trains running around the new signal gantry. Okay so I'm going to start off at the four point decoder which is here. You see the yellow and white cables which I've laid them as run up here to the relay from Maplins. You've got the two yellow on that side, the white are joined both to the bottom of that one with a blue is what I've used to go off instead which should go off towards the red power supply as well to connect up with that and then you've got the green and the red which then run up here somewhere up there there you go I've then got the Traintronic CDU now this one also has a feather in uh, so I'll quickly explain that as well you see the white cable there that runs down to this one here which has a yellow cable then attached to it which runs up to here which hopefully you can see I've got a switch so this switch is underneath the point motor and this automatically is either on or off when the green light is lit on the signal so obviously when the route is set to the indicator to be shown it also triggers the switch for the feather to be displayed and these link in yeah, there just in front of me so they link in there so you see it comes off the green and then it, the green and the yellow goes off separately to what is underneath the point there so the underneath point switch and it runs back off up to the CDU so there's a, basically an extra little mini circuit loop on the edge of the green signal